Hey guys, William Brandt here, back with another quick start builder all tutorial. And in this one, I want to go ahead and take you through the app builder. So if you go under builders here and go to app creator, this is where you can build mobile applications that you can put on the uh, Apple uh, App Store or Google Play or Amazon. Uh, so here, I'll just do a quick demo, and here we'll just give the application a name, and we'll just call this a demo app. Click create. And here you can design your app. So here's different templates that are already built in so one way of seeing these used a lot is like here this pizza one if you are into local marketing and you go to a local restaurant and say hey do you have an app and they say no how would you like one here let me build an app for you and then you charge them however much a month uh, to maintain the app for them and they have this so I'll just go ahead and use this one as an example. There was an error while it's saving, of course, because... <laughs> Try that again. Okay, so it did, did save in there. It is lower loading. So here you could say, here's the template. You can update the, oh, I wanna keep that. You can change the layout if you want. Then your homepage image. Yeah. Since we're doing a pizza restaurant, we'll just go ahead and leave that. I'll choose my country. Choose your font, then we can go over to colors. And these are the colors that were already set inside of the template that I used. But you can come in and change any of these that you want. And then next would be the features. And here you can, there's a number of different features that you can install in your app. So you can add audio, you can add a booking. So if it's a restaurant or, you know, if you go to a, a plumber or hairstylist or somebody that need, that takes reservations, you can set up a booking in their application. So you could say, hey, book a, book a table now. Calendar, so you could do, you know, different calendar of events, and then you can publish that in your app. And so these would all be inside your app. So somebody opens up the phone, they'd have a link to your app. They click it and they'd open it. And this preview's taking a minute to, to load up there, but um, you could put RSS feed, coupons, QR codes, all kinds of different things that you can place in there. Um, then once you've done that, you know, here's ones that were in there. It's um, oh, let me go back, sorry. It, so here, you know, it's what's already in this one is the orders for commerce. So this is going to have the menu items and you can actually click on them and place your order. You know, if it's a carryout, you can place your order for uh, delivery or you can place your orders for pickup. Then you'd have your customer's account there. Then if you go back to the application menu here, you know, this is what how your app would appear on your user's phone. So, you know, they click on that, it would open up your app, they'd be able to see your menu, they'd be able to place an order, make a reservation, whatever it is that you've set up in your app. And then you can publish. Now, um, when you're publishing an app to the App Store or Google Play, there is a process that you need to go through and get things set up. 
Uh, you don't have to do that if you're building the app in Builderall. You can actually publish it under Builderall's account, um, which would be perfect for this type of app. If you're going to do a type of app where you want to run ads and get um, you know, ads from within your app, then you will have to publish it um, on your own, but you can publish you know, through... You'd be able to publish either just directly through the Builderall accounts and you don't need to set up anything. You just fill out this and publish it. And Or if you're going to monetize, then you would need to want to publish it to your own accounts. And that's it. You know, once, once it's set up, then you can come in. You have these push notifications. So, you know, anybody that's downloaded your app, you can go ahead and send a push notification, which will send a message to their phone. So if anybody that has this app installed, so maybe you're running a, a restaurant and you're having a special deal for whatever reason, you can just say, hey, it, you know, it's pizza. So it's, hey, it's Super Bowl weekend. We have this great deal on pizzas. And you can send that notification, push notification, and everybody that has this app on their phone would get that notification. It's where it's very powerful, especially with local markets, because um, you know a local restaurant's not going to know how to set this up. They'd be, they'd love to have this, and it's a great tool for them, and it's an easy way for you to uh, get clients and do that. Now, I want to switch over and go to uh, Appy, which is a similar platform. Um, they do have a free plan. But it only works with HTML5 and web, so that doesn't include. It doesn't work in the App Store. It doesn't work on Google Play. Um, it, there's no distribution whatsoever. So you can get fifteen dollars a month. It, you can publish it to Android or thirty dollars a month. You can get uh, where it's supported on both Apple. So a minimum of $30 a month just for the same type of app builder. And that does not include having your um, the ability to just publish under the company name. You will have to have your own developer accounts with everything. There's no help with app submission or anything unless you're playing at least $50 a month. But here, if you go back to Builderall, you're getting this already for, and it's part of your account. So either if you're paying the $49.95 as a builder all business, or just the $9.95 um, as a startup, you have access to this app with uh, all the other things that are included with that builder all. So if you don't yet have your builder all account, go ahead, check out the link down below, see what else is included with it. And I'll also put a link down if you're interested in promoting Builderall as an affiliate, have a viral funnel that people are using and getting great results with promoting Builderall as an affiliate. So I'll put that link down below too. Go ahead, check them out. Um, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to like the video and leave any comments and questions that you have down below.